This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that generates an axis aligned lattice deformer. Axis aligned lattices are super powerful, so let's check it out. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to select my model here and rotate it completely arbitrarily to some awful value. And then I'm going to go into modify and go freeze transforms. And that's going to zero out the transform here so it has no rotation. You can already see the rotation access is all messed up there. And if I go up to deform and then I go and select lattice, boom, it creates a lattice. So you can see the problem here. I've got a lattice, but it's kind of useless because it's all wonky and it's not aligned with the mesh. If I wanted to move the lattice along the axis of the actual object, you can't really do that in Maya by default. So I'm just going to come over here and select the two lattice objects inside of the outliner and delete those. And so what the script does is it will allow you to select a single face on the object and that face will be used to create the lattice along that axis. So even though the transform is frozen, we can regenerate that axis based on a face selection. So if I'm in object mode and I click the lattice button, here's the new icon here up on the shelf. If you own the full mega pack, you'll see it here. It's just called lattice. If you click that, You'll actually get an error and it'll say, please select exactly one face. And I need you to select that face so we can figure out what to align the access to. So I'm going to go into faces and select this face because that's a nice right angle. I'm going to click the lattice button and boom, there we go. We got a perfect lattice aligned to our object and we're ready to start deforming. So we go to lattice points here and then I'll use the scale tool and then watch this. See, it actually scales along the correct axes. So unlike the Maya one, which is always world aligned, this one will try to align with whatever face that you plug in as the starting point. And if we hit undo, just go back to default here and just like deselect that. If we click over here and select the lattice deformer on the right hand side in the channel box, we can actually increase the division. So if we go like three here, three and three, boom, then we can have some extra divisions there as well. And that will also work. It'll stay aligned. So now we can do stuff like this or like this, or like this. So super handy, super powerful tool. I actually need to use this quite a bit when I'm doing sub-D modeling. It's really helpful because sub-D has a lot of edge loops in it and being able to deform them with only a couple points is really powerful. I'm just gonna delete that again there. At any time you can actually delete the lattice and it will undo the modification, which is handy as well. So if you delete that, see your model just pops back to what it was before. So you don't actually have to undo, you can actually just delete it. That's true of the regular Maya lattice as well. Okay, so now I would like to mention that this script is incredibly hacky. I am doing the dirtiest hack in the entire universe to get this thing to work. So when it comes to latticing components, it's a little bit of a different workflow, like selecting the one face is no big deal for the object mode. But if you wanna do components, it works in a bit of a strange way. And that's because I had to do a hack in order to get it to work at all. So if you wanna do components, let's say we're gonna go into face mode here and I'm just gonna grab these faces and whatever, I'll expand one to grab this as well. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna to try to take the average normal direction of the faces and apply the lattice to that. And because this thing's perfectly right angle, it's not gonna be an issue. It's just gonna give us this nice axis aligned lattice, but on different shapes, asymmetrical shapes, you may find some wonkiness. So just be aware of that. And I'll show you a workaround for that issue in a second anyways. Okay, so coming up, we've got our faces selected, click the lattice button. And boom, there we go. We've got our two point lattice assigned to this thing. So we select these guys, we can scale like that. If we select these ones, you know, whatever, you can scale like that, do that. So everything is uh, working fine there. But as I mentioned on more complex shapes, it's gonna get super weird. You will also notice in the outliner, you're going to see there's the regular lattice, but when you apply the lattice to components, see it's got this FFD components, two of these weird invisible nodes. Those are needed to drive the lattice on the components. So don't delete those until you've deleted history on your object. If you want to clean it up, if you want to just clean up the lattice and undo what we did there. You can just select all of this stuff and then just delete it. Boom. And then it jumps back to what it was before. It was actually a weird example. So here, we'll just quickly do one more here. So I'm just going to grab that top face and I'm going to grow my selection to there, let's say. Click the lattice button and boom, there we go. That 
looks more like what something you would actually do. And then, of course, you can always come and select the lattice and up the divisions to be whatever you want. So whatever, 444, four, four, as many as you want. And then, of course, that stuff will still work correctly and still be aligned to the correct axes there. So to show you the limitations with the face selection stuff, I'm just going to select the face here. I'm going to hold shift and extrude that out, scale it down a bit, and then I'm going to rotate it. So it's just at like an awful angle, like these two faces here are so wonky and they're not triangulated, so they don't even have like a good normal to them. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to select that face and just expand the selection to like there, let's say that looks good. And then I'm going to click the lattice button and I'm going to see what happens here. It doesn't really know what to do. It kind of almost randomly aligned to a face and that's because it took the like average of the faces or whatever. So now I'm going to show you the workaround to that if you've got a selection of faces and it's not doing what you think it should. So I'll just delete that stuff one more time, pop that back. Okay, so in object mode, you select a single face. In face mode, you select multiple faces and hope that that works. And then in vert and edge mode, you need to select the verts or edges you want plus one face. And that one face will determine which direction the lattice goes to. And it doesn't matter what order you select the verts and faces in or the edges and faces in. So I find it easier to go right click, go to verts, get the verts that I want selected first because there's more of those. So let's say I want to lattice to form all of these verts. And now if I click the button, I'll actually get an error and the error says, please select some vertices and exactly one face. And just like the object mode, I need exactly one face to determine which way you want the lattice to point. Like I said, it's a dirty hack, but this is way better than anything that I've seen in the default Maya. So it's still quite helpful. So to select vertices and faces at the same time, if you're not familiar with that workflow, you hold the right mouse button down and you choose multi-mode instead of vertex mode. And that will leave your vert selected, but it'll allow you to select other components. So now you hold down shift and you choose a face. So you need to determine, oh, which way would we like the lattice to be assigned? Okay, let's choose this face. Let's pretend you wanted to do this. So hold shift and click. And if we actually turn on, where is it? Display, heads up display, poly count, we can see that we have one face selected and 16 verts. So that's a helpful way to know if you have the right selection stuff. Okay, and now we're gonna click the button and boom, there we go. So it used that one face to align the lattice deformer. So that's a lot more useful than just kind of like randomly getting some stuff or whatever. So that's pretty cool, but again, it's a hacky workflow because you use the single face. So there will certainly be some situations where you get a lattice deformer that you're probably not happy with. So in those situations, try your best to select verts or edges and then use a face to align it. It's only going to be the one face though, so I'm sure there's going to be a couple times where it's not going to work, just to let you know. Delete that stuff one more time, kill that. Okay, and then we'll just quickly do the edges as well. So go to edge mode. Let's say I'm going to select, uh, I don't know, sure, this stuff here. Deselect that, deselect that. Right click, go to multi, select a face you want to align to, click the button, boom. And then we get our nice lattice right there aligned to whatever the component selection was plus whatever stuff we had. So if we set that to three and three and three, three. And we could do the middle part as well if we wanted to. This tool can be super handy for sub-D modeling. Here I've got a little sub-D model going on there. It's going to show the cage or whatever so you can see all the details in here. So now we can do things like this really quickly. Select a single face, click the button, it aligns the lattice to that plane or whatever, and then we could just grab these two points here and here, and then we could scale. And so that would previously be pretty painful to do in a lot of situations. So it's pretty cool. If you've already purchased the Megascript pack or the modeling pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the Megascript pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store.
Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a fantastic day.